welcome! It's Jana from Mini Miracle Maker. I'd like to share one way of making stained glass windows with you. There are many ways of making them, but with different outcomes. I've tested some of these on my Instagram account, Mini Miracle Maker. You can find all these videos about the testing in the Instagram highlight called Stained Glass. My goal was to create lead-based stained glass windows, which were industrial-made or half-industrial-made at least. I'd like to use my cutting machine Camille Silhouette 4. So I choose a picture from Google, trace it in the Silhouette software and cut it. This is a vinyl sticky foil in silvery grey. I use it because I think it represents lead the best. And I do need two parts. Once it is cut, I do need to take away the excess parts with some tweezers. This is what finally represents the lead. Then I do use some transfer tape to put it on acetate. The transfer tape is basically just thick sticky tape. It prevents the sticker foil from deforming or sticking to itself. Because the shapes are so thin and long, it could easily lose its proportions and warp. Please notice that now the foil is only on one side of the acetate and on the other side there will be no 3D effect once it's done. You might could put the foil also on the other side. I didn't because I find it hard to match both sides 100% accurate. A quick test fit. I already like it the way it is without any color, but not this time. Maybe for another project. I use glass paint. As mentioned, I tried different paints on Instagram before buying new paints. I didn't like all the other results I could achieve with the stuff I already had, so I did buy them and I didn't regret spending the money because I love the result. And I think I can make good use of it in future projects. These windows will be at the end of a long narrow hallway. So I would love to get as much light through these windows as possible. So I do want to put the darkest colors on the smallest pieces and the lightest colors on the biggest pieces, like the yellow ones here. I hope it will let enough light through. Once dried, I want to remove the paint where I accidentally overpainted. Rubbing it off with my tweezers worked best. The dried color is like a gummy film, like bright white glue. That's it! These are the stained glass windows. Now I only need to assemble the door and it is done. Do you like these stained glass windows? Or how do you make your stained glasses? There are so many ways and techniques out there. I'd love to hear about them and try them. So please let me know and if you're on Instagram, please send me a picture or tag me in one where you've done some. I'm so curious. So now, let's give it some love. Thank you for hanging with me. Love ya and bye bye.